When addressing the media and the members of the NICTA and UAS, Minister Masiu highlighted that ICT providers in PNG, like other developing nations, target the urban areas when providing coverage, especially for economic reasons. The rural and remote areas are not generally covered. He urged that ICT must provide its services to the rural parts of the country. It is our duty, our responsibility, to go and build that tower. It is our duty, our responsibility to make sure that we bring the service to the people. And this is something that, you know, I had to uh, come here to make this point very clear. He also mentioned that the total value of approved projects for 2024 is 32.294 million kina. The minister indicated that some of the projects for this year include new mobile towers to extend mobile internet to unserved areas, mainly in rural PNG, which will bring connectivity to more than 145,000 people. And that is the amount of projects that is going out, and they'll be tendered very, very shortly. So whoever is interested in uh, partaking, you'll be prepared to submit your tender uh, applications. And I know that by the end of this year, some of those projects will be completed and some will move into next year. One of the projects approved in the budget is the International Mobile Equipment Identity Register. This project aims to track and find out where a mobile device is currently located and block the connection to the networks and basically disabling the phone. Other projects include broadband connectivity to extend key government services through digital connectivity, emergency communication, and capacity building. Minister Masiu stated that they need to find out which rural areas are not connected so they will develop a short to medium and long term plan to bring connectivity to these areas. UAS secretaries must focus on identifying unserved or underserved remote areas in the country, mobile, mobilize funding and coordinate the implementation of UAS with all ICT operators to ensure connectivity reaches all parts of Papua New Guinea. The minister indicated that there are parts of the country that still needs connectivity so people can have access to internet to engage in e-commerce, e-learning and range of other e-services that the Department of ICT is now spearheading. Louis Maingu, National MTV News.